What's up, everybody? This is Seven Shelf Eight. Monster Six Seventeen. Flickerpro.com coming to you today with the review you've all been waiting for. It's gonna be on the Crown Classic <laughs> OS. Oh shit, oversized Olympic size bowl. Massive crown fucking thing. I couldn't do that with my other bowl. That's, that's yeah. Um, yeah. We had it on the scale here. We were uh, trying to figure out. I zeroed the scale and I just packed it with a whole bunch of shisha as much as I could to see how much um, shisha it actually holds because we're going to. We have a lot of the same flavors, so what we're going to do is we're going to pack it full of Tangier using our flavor so we don't like just like run out. Yeah, and then just, uh, we're going to mix a couple of them together. We'll so. show you that in a little bit. Um, well, we found out that this bowl actually holds... 140. 140 grams. So right, that comes right below the hole zone. I'm sure you can make it 200 if you... Uh, if you really tried. But, yeah, 140 grams is what we, we're going to go with because it puts it right right at the base of the, uh, the holes there. So right you don't want to clog them up. And uh, so, uh, so we're going to be smoking Tangiers for... Uh, for the rest of the day. So pretty much this review is going to consist of a bunch of editing of intermittent videos that we're going to give you. First one's going to be me packing the bowl. Just, that'll be boring. Second one's going to be us putting probably four or five. Actually, this is the first. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, we should probably call Santino and ask him how many poles to put on it. On Sunday? Sure, why not? Anyways, um, yeah, we'll try four. That's because that that's a that's a pretty big surface area to cover. Yeah. Um, and if it becomes too much, take it down to three. And we're not gonna be able to use any wind cover on it, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh wait, maybe here, grab my wind cover or a wind cover. No, <laughs> it's pretty sad. If you guys know how big a wind cover is. Yeah. So. We're going to cut away. Tyler's going to get to uh, mixing the shisha up and packing a bowl. So, um, so right back, for those of you who are not sure what 140 grams of shisha actually looks like, that it's a lot of fucking shisha. Um, it looks like a lot more in the bowl, bowl it because it's not dense. So This is light fluffed. I have it a uh, dense. I'm going to dense pack it in the... Oh, I just want to start packing it here. You almost said before. I did. Um, so yeah, Tyler's gonna pack it up for you guys. I'm gonna go make some French toast. And then it'll be cooking time with Billy. <laughs> it's packing time with Tyler. Um, so right now in this little bowl, I have mixed. Let's see, 25 grams of sour. Oh. Forty-five grams of raspberry and seventy grams of blackberry. We're making our own little brambleberry. Brambleberry is just raspberry and blackberry mixed, but I added a little bit of sour in there to give it a little bit of a sour kick. So this is, I guess, our take on brambleberry. Um, we're doing this because we smoke this flavor a lot, or this mix a lot. We like this mix a lot. We figure if we're going to smoke something for a very long time, might as well like it. So. Um, the sad thing is, the only time we're probably ever going to smoke this is today. With the exception of when Billy and I hang out of, like alone, we'll probably end up packing, like buying a thing of Knock DA or Othmani DA and smoking it. I don't need the scale anymore. But uh, that is besides the point. Actually, I do need the scale. Just to... Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. So um, this is nice and mixed up. Oh, it's, it's, it's like a fucking bowl of cereal right here in front of me. Fat kid bowl of cereal. The bowl of cereal I used to eat when I was a kid. Fat kid bowl of cereal. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to scoop it in here, which is... It, it's ridiculous doing this, just taking the shisha and constantly just scooping it in. And hey, you don't need an oyster fork for this one. That's the... That's the bright side. So if none of you have an o or if you don't have an oyster fork and you want to smoke some tangiers, get an OS bowl. That's the, that's yes, the solution that to your logical. problem. That seems logical. Yes, buy an eighty dollar bowl instead of buying like a three dollar fork. But I don't know. Anyways. 
This is gonna be a long ass video. I can already tell. Yeah, of course, it's gonna be a long ass video. Um, sorry, this is boring for you guys, but go ahead and skip ahead if it is. Yeah. Okay. What did you just say, <laughs> Billy? What did Kelsey just say? Nothing. Is it still recording? Yes. It is still recording. She doesn't like to be on camera. She's camera shy. Oh, she she always takes her head out. That's true. Uh, almost done. Now, it may be a very strange idea to be smoking Tangiers in this bowl. Like you'd think it's a, like it's a obviously just a very large classic but i smoke tangiers in my 3.5 which is just a pretty much a classic with a flared end so um it hopefully we can get enough heat in here to actually burn down to the rest of it and actually keep the glass hot enough to be boiling it because in theory it should work it's just like a funnel bowl except for the funnels not the spires in the middle it's just you know and this is pretty much, I think, about the same size as Eric's. No. No, his, his is smaller than that, isn't it? I think his, I think Eric's large funnel bowl would fit in here. I'm not sure. Um, I finished my cereal. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, yes. Orange peel. And then poker too. Okay. Foil. Wet foil. So yeah, that's it all uh, nice and packed in there. You can see how massive and ridiculous this bowl truly is. Um, for comparison, there's a foil poker. But... Uh, yeah, this is going to be a very interesting day, I can tell. I mean, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I don't care about the Super Bowl, so at least I'll have something to do. While Billy sits over there and goes, Hey, Super Bowl. Super Bowl, oh, ball flying. Okay, he's not, he's, he's not an imbecile, but... Really, I, I hate sports. This is this is not Tyler's hour, but, you know, I, I, I just hate sports. Are you really ranting about that? I am ranting because I'm fucking wiping a bowl, okay? Okay, anyways. So, uh, it's actually like the perfect size to cover this. It's actually really difficult to do. Do you need two people to do this? No. Holy shit. You may realize I need to clean up the commander. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm gonna clean up the commander. Kelsey, can you clean up the commander while I put, or do you want to just do that while I clean up the commander? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so there's not gonna be any rhyme or reasoning behind my whole booking right now. I'm just gonna make sure I get down to the bottom of the bowl. Which you takes the whole foil poker? Yeah. I have a feeling that the foil is actually going to be touching the tobacco somewhat. Because of how much... Oh, because of how much give the foil has. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, fun fact about foil. Uh, you can actually use foil and two AA batteries to power an Xbox 360 remote control. We, uh... He's going to go grab it right now. We uh, wanted to play MW3 last night. We only had one controller because the other controller didn't have a battery pack. So we uh, took two AA batteries, put a piece of foil over the top right there. You can kind of see it. Put the positive end on the, if you're looking at it, positive end down on the right side, negative end down on the left side. Creates a circuit because aluminum is a very conductive material. And it fucking worked. We were stoked. Yes, so. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is a ridiculous amount of holes because this is a ridiculous bowl and this is going to be a ridiculous review. So, uh, 
yeah. There it is, all prettied and holed up for you. So uh, I'm going to let you guys go for now. I'm going to be back in about two seconds for you. And uh, we're going to have this on the Kamanja. going to have coals on it. And we will be smoking it. Hopefully successfully. Be right back. Yeah. Okay, we're back. I'm uh, holding you now. Um, You're stable. Okay, uh, so we just put it on the bowl. Or put the bowl on the hose. Um, put the bowl on the hookah. Wow. And, uh... This is the basic gist of what's going on right now. Or Coco Mazayas. It's kind of fitting music. This is, this is kind of hysterical music for hysterical hookah. So, um, you wanted to get rid of the Mazayas. I wanted to get rid of the, uh, my stuff. That makes sense. Some shisha. Because, um, if you haven't seen the post already, I have way too much. Way too much. I'm sure more people on here have. Have more. Oh, yeah, sure, but it's All right. This is going to be my first pull. I hope it's not absolutely pathetic. It might be. Let's see. Not bad. First hit. It just sounds massive. So, uh, yeah, the wind cover w won't even fit on this thing. Well, technically, it can rest on the can, Yeah, but you can rest I would on the bowl. It. But then again, I think the vibration would Knock end up it knocking it over. That would just end in horribly. End in horribly. Yes, end in horribly. So, uh. The airflow is just like um, the 3.5 and the V4. Fantastic. It tastes fine. Um, we'll see how many coals we go through. We're gonna keep cutting back in and out. So this is the we're first not gonna, round. We're not gonna make a fucking video of us continuously smoking this. Well, you couldn't upload it on YouTube anyways. Yeah. So yeah, this is the first round of coals, guys. It is currently smoking fantastically. Right now it is 10:51 in the morning, on Sunday, April, um, April, <laughs> February, fourth, fourth, third, third. No, it was the. It's the third. Oh, yeah. So yeah, guys. Um, as far as right now, it's looking pretty fantastic. The end of this video will be tomorrow. <laughs> Hope not. We'll see how long it goes, guys. We'll keep you updated. All right, guys. This is a little update. We uh, started this at 10:51, I believe it was. It um, is now 1:37. Uh, we are on our third round of coals. We decided to cut it down from four to three coals on it now, just to make it a little bit, a little less heat. Because not the to one... preserve the length of it. No. Just because with four coals in the second round, it was kind of uh, <laughs> harsh. So we're going on three hours. Um, Still it's tasting getting, pretty it's amazing. Harder now. <laughs> but it still tastes pretty good. Um, yeah, around hour seven or so, it's going to be like, I'm not sure if I'm going to do So there it is. We also uh, made a little wind cover for it. Since the other one does not work. Bam. If any of you are wondering, if you don't have a fucking wind cover, that's the way to go. We don't need that right now, I don't think. Make it a little harsh. But um, <laughs> and Amanda's smoking out of her. Her cool little tip here. <clears throat> she has chapsticks on, so she has to. She has to do something else. We need to find a power source. Yes, but there it is. So uh, we'll, we'll be update back. you again in about a couple hours. Yes. If it's see if it's done by then. This is getting a little uh, ridiculous. It's pretty insane. What's up, everybody? Again, I don't know why I keep introducing this. This is all going to be edited together. Um. We are now into our fifth round of coals on this bowl. And um, it is currently 344. Yep. Been going since 1051. Five hours right there. 
Um, sorry about the lighting. I don't know what the hell's going on with my laptop right now. It's really irritating. Oh well. But um, yeah, still going strong. Uh, Selling Panda decided to put some Coco Ultimates on there instead. Naturally, tastes a little better. A little better, but. I am useful. So yeah, going on five hours now. Still tastes amazing. No negative, nothing negative yet. Like mm -mm. I have nothing bad to say about it yet, with the exception of the fact that it uses a lot of shisha and a lot of coals. We've gone through. This is number seventeen. Or these three is seventeen coals. It's a lot of fucking coals. <laughs> We're watching Super Bowl commercials. <laughs> Anyways, uh, still going strong. We'll do probably one more at the end of the day. We'll probably do a couple more. So. Yeah. So yeah. That's that for now. All right, everybody. This is gonna be the final update. The bowl has met its end. Eight hours. Almost exactly eight hours. And uh, put a new yeah. round of coals in there. It's not smoking good anymore. It doesn't taste good anymore. So, uh, the OS bowl. 140 grams of shisha. Eight hours. I bet you there's still a lot of juicy shisha on the bottom, but nobody really knows. Um, We're going to find out. We are... Uh, going to uh, show you this being dumped into the trash can so you can see what it's like in the bottom after eight hours of smoking eight hours eight fucking hours smoked all the way through that bullshit power outage in the super bowl that was kind of funny actually so, got the apple up because this bowl is fucking scorching hot all right guys oh my god oh that's it we barely burnt the top of it. The top fucking layer. This is all juicy. Is still. still all juicy. Should we? Uh, I don't know what to do. Do we put more foil on it? Look at this. It's only eight hours and it's still fucking juicy. Oh my god. Decisions, decisions. We have. I'm five thinking about here. getting putting it back in a container and saving it for another day. So, uh, in case they didn't hear him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would not fucking do that. I would. <laughs> you want to? So, uh, sure, why not? We're going to put so, this in a container. So, eight hours and it barely burnt. A little fucking... Hey, look. It's like a little sausage patty. That's it. That's all it did. Look. Out of... What the fuck? Eight hours of smoking. Either that's really good or really bad. Maybe we need to put more heat on it to get it burnt through more. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's That's going to be really fucking hard to clean. Let's not talk about that yet. Am I dumping it or... I don't know. What do you guys think? Dump it or no? It's being dumped. Sad day. I'll clean it. I want to clean it. Actually, cleaning is something. I know you fun. guys are going to be pissed off at us for wasting all this shisha. Um, we are sorry. <laughs> that smells kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. So, uh... Wow. Yeah. You so... Might, you might be able to smoke for 20 hours. That's fine. You might be able to if you can get enough heat to get down to the bottom of it. We got a quarter inch. Quarter inch down. So, uh... Yes, we'll smoke melon bread. So, in retrospect, it's a really nice bowl. It's actually really nice not having to repack a bowl every couple hours. Um, it tasted really good until like the last half hour of it. Um, heat management, important on it. You have to make your own wind cover. Um, fun experiment, probably going to happen again with some knock. I bet you knock would burn pretty well with it. Um, yeah, so, 
rate, comment, subscribe, let us right. know what you think. What's the rating on the bowl? Oh yeah, we gotta rate the bowl, don't we? I'm gonna give this bowl on a scale of one to ten, Santino. I know you're curious. I know you're curious. I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten just for fucking awesomeness of being so huge. And for the fact that eight hours and we only got a fucking quarter inch down. So it actually uh, wasn't that bad. Look, there's only a couple spots. No, 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 no. Nice and clean. Probably because it was hot. Ten out of ten. All right. Six hands of water. Santino has done it again. Yep. Santino, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the golden ticket. Free bowl. Well, five dollars for shipping, but hey. It's an awesome bowl. Um I'm gonna enjoy smoking knock out of that with him. It's gonna be fun. Mm. Um So yeah, now that we've read the bowl and you've experienced all of this bullshit. Go buy one. Don't spend any bucks on it. Sorry, Santino. Um yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think. And for all of you who are not members of Hooker Pro and watch this on YouTube, go to Hooker Pro. You're open source for everything. Okay. Um, That's about it, guys. Yeah. Till next time. Smoke well.